In springtime, Rusty loves to visit a faraway place. It's filled with bluebells. The air smells sweet, and Rusty thinks there's no better place to be. One day, Thomas was passing by just as Rusty was having a drink. Beep, beep. Good morning. Your driver looks a little worried. I wonder why. I don't know, said Rusty, but I soon will. Excuse me, said Rusty, but is something wrong? Yes, indeed, replied the driver. They need another engine to help run this special line. A bluebell engine, laughed Rusty. Maybe I can find one. Later, Rusty saw Douglas and Percy. Rusty had an idea. Can you help me find another engine? Where? Where you found Oliver. You mean on the other railway? Yes, I'm looking for a bluebell engine. And Rusty explained everything. I'd like to help, but these days it's only diesels that go there. Then Rusty decided. So that's where I'll go. Take care. Rusty told the driver all about the plan. And that night he came back to the shed. The manager says he'll make a home for a bluebell engine if you find one. Right, said Rusty. We'll find one tomorrow. It took them all of the next day to travel to the other railway. Darkness fell and the cold wind blew. Oh, what's that? But it was only the sounds of the lonely scrapyard. Diesel, silent and still, lined up on guard. Who are you? Rusty plucked up courage. I'm a shed and sidings inspection diesel. Uh, ha have you any engines in the shed? No, none. Rusty rallied again. Uh, th and then uh, what about the sidings? One. We have one. Rusty grew braver still. Th then I'll just go and inspect. A small engine with a tall funnel stood sad and alone in the shadowy siding. His driver was huddled in the cab, keeping him company. Excuse me, said Rusty. Do you like bluebells? The engine looked startled. Yes, uh, bluebells are beautiful. Then you're soon going to see lots of them because I'm getting you out of here. Everyone worked fast. It was difficult to set the fire, but soon it was glowing hot and Stepney had a good head of steam. Rusty's engineer agreed to be Stepney's fireman. So off they set, past the bleak and brooding lines of diesels. Where is he going? They hissed. Just down the line, replied Rusty. And they chuffered quickly away. We've done it whispered Rusty. We're over the border and back on our own railway. Mission accomplished. When Rusty and the engine arrived in the valley, a big welcome awaited them. We shall mend you and give you a new coat of paint, said the manager. His driver was delighted. You lucky old engine. You've been saved by the Bluebell Railway. And my friend Rusty. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for Rusty. Now the little engine is as happy as can be and helps all the passengers who visit at Bluebell time. His name is Stepney, but everyone calls him the Bluebell Engine.